This is two authors, a beverage and a book, or whatever we're called. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so hopefully you guys read the first book of Judy's Western series. So today, oh, and cheers. Here's my, I'm having non-alcoholic drinks today because we are plotting and writing and I've had knee surgery. So yeah, doesn't go well. Yeah, yeah. We'll there you go. There. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to share the screen with us just a moment to show you what we're doing. We are going to be talking about, this is the book we were supposed to read, this book one right here, The Better She Die. And then we're going to talk about the whole series and, well, we're not going to, Judy's going to tell us about how her journey was through these series. And here you go, Judy, time's okay. yours. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Mary's had me for three. Are you doing better, Mary? Uh, that's a long story, but yeah. <laughs> all in all, yeah. Okay, so we know you're having a hard time sitting a very long period of time because of your knee, so you can wiggle around as much as you need. Yeah, I will be. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, today, guys, I'm so excited. I am talking to you about my first book of Silver Sage Creek called Better She Die. And Better She Die in this book, um, this one begins in 1858, and the last book um, is 1880. So when I was doing this series, I knew, oh, I have to do a lot of research. So I did do a lot of research for these three books. Um, the first book has to do with uh, the Indians during the 1800s. And so I had to go back and do a lot of research on the Apache Indians and the Comanche Indians. And then I had to do research on, um, on the, um, Texas Rangers, <laughs> because that's when they were rounding up the Indians to take them to reservations too, as well. Okay, the um, the character in this first book, her name is Claire Rose. She's a young girl. She's um, just has been married for about three weeks, and she's married to this guy that is so. Um, He's not into labor work um, as per se, like building their home. Um, he looks to be, to be a little lazy, but he's interested in politics. So his main character that he loves and his hero is Sam Houston. So that's where he wants to go with his life into politics and Claire Rose is an uppity young girl and just married and, and she has to tell her girlfriends all about everything. And she's gonna wind up living in a fine house with all these fine clothes and having her own, um, her own maids to help her with everything. So that's a picture of Claire Rose. Life changes in instant. One day, the entire Silver Sage Creek town is raided by the Apaches. She's kidnapped along with her friend, Betsy. Her other friend, Sally, didn't make it. They killed her. Uh, she thinks her husband's dead, her dad, her parents, or so many people got killed that day, and she's kidnapped along with her girlfriend. The Apaches take her away, and she's, she's not... She lucks out and she doesn't know why she's not touched by these Apache Indians while her girlfriend has been beaten and raped. But they don't touch her and she doesn't understand why. And, but it's so horrible being dragged around by these Apaches night after night, setting up camp. They have no idea where they're going. And so um, she just wants to die. She's better off dead as far as she's concerned. But then she starts seeing her girlfriend, she's got to help her. And so one night when the Indians got real drunk and were around the campfire, she makes her way out of the teepee and, and goes to the horses with her friend. And she's the only one that gets away. She decides she has to keep going and come back to help Betsy, okay? But she doesn't go very far. She's kidnapped again, but this time she's caught by the Comanche Indians. And this time she's taken away, but she's treated different. She's, um, she's treated 
and told what to do, but they never harm her. And so the thought in her mind is she just soon died because she'll never have a fine house, never have fine clothes again. She's going to die. But the longer she stays with the Comanche Indians, the more she learns that they are people, they're human. And she's a survivor. So she's going to live. Okay, if I'm going to live with the Indians for the rest of my life, then I'm going to be a survivor and learn to be a part of them. And she becomes a part of them. She lives with them for five years. Five years. And the Texas Rangers rescue her. Oh, she's livid. She doesn't want to be rescued. They drag her back to town. Again, she thinks she's better off dead than alive because she's back at her hometown where people treat her as an outcast. She should have died with any Indians than to live. And the Texas Ranger that rescued her does not understand why she wanted to keep their baby. She's got a three-year-old son that's a half-breed. Why would she even keep that kid? He hates the Indians so bad. He doesn't understand her loyalty and love for the Comanche Indians. So, um, because they killed, they killed his wife and child. So that's why, where his hatred comes from. And so during the relationship, he learns a lot. Um, this is pretty much the story of Clara Rose going from one life to another life, going back to her um, white man's life and being an outcast. The only person that befriended her in the entire town is a woman that she talked about really ugly. And that was the saloon owner named Ruby. And she's the, her only friend. So um, during this time in Claro's life, she's grown up a lot and she sees people as, um, as human and different. So that's pretty much the, the uh, story of Better She Die. And if you read it, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I mentioned Ruby in the second, she's in the second book, um, who became Clara Rose's uh, best friend. So I did a lot of research for these books. The second book, I had to do all the research on the train coming in from the east and um, causing Silver Sage Creek little town to boom with the Chinese coming in to lay the rail. And then in the third book, um, I had to do more research because the female in this one is a doctor. And to be a doctor in a med school and going out into the world as a female was different. So um, those are the three books of Silver Sage Creek and Better She Die. Now, I'm going to stop there. And if you haven't read it, I hope that... It I sounded great. It, and I haven't read it for a long time, so it's came back now. So, um, and I apologize, I meant to have it read before That's this okay. again, but um, it, it does sound great. So anybody who hasn't out there, go get yourself a copy. Right, please do. Um, there's three things I'm gonna give away today. So listen up. Uh, you know, we always have a raffle copter uh, mm -hmm. for our events or sessions here. Um, I'm going to get, let me make sure I tell you the right thing. Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay, uh, the first one I'm going to give away, um, if you go to the raffle copter and enter, and if you tell me that you have read all three books, Better She Die, Better She Live, Better, um, Better She Love, those three books, um, there's one question from each book. If you answer those three questions, um, you can enter the raffle copter and win a mug. I have a gorgeous mug here and I love it. It has my book covers of all three books and I am going to give that away. So enter that if you've read all three books and answer those questions. Now, the second giveaway 
I'm going to give away. Let me make sure to tell you the right one. Okay, if you have read Better She Died and you would like to read the second book, um, I didn't bring a book to show you, but anyway, if you'd like to read the better, the second book, which is Better She Live, it's about Ruby, the salon um, owner, then enter the raffle copter and I will send you an autographed copy of the book. Okay. Oh, that that's was nice. Say, oh, wait, I got one more. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give away one more. Okay. So, uh, if you've read Better She Die and you want to read the second book, Better She Live, go to my website, judybakerauthor.com. Go to contact and email me and tell me that you would like to have the second book. And um, the first three people that do that, I will send you a free email copy of Better She Live. Great. That sounds like great. And also, uh, I'm going to have everything on the raffle, or not the raffle copter, yes, will be on, but on the YouTube, everything will be listed. It will be on my uh, website and also Judy's, I'm sure. And then I usually send out a newsletter and I may be a little late getting it out, but it will be out and there'll be all that information too. But this will all be on through the month of May as always. And next month we are going to have Liz Pally and she's going to be talking about her w wedding war book, which uh, is pretty fun too. So it will basically be about another fun book, but June it's is a It's a fun book. I've, I've read it. She's got another one coming out called The Belting. Actually, it's out. And I think that'll be fun to read too. So next, next month, look forward to Amy. And this month, enjoy everything Western about Judy's. So thank you guys all for joining us. Have a good one through the entire May. Yes. <laughs>